is, he and his brothers have given us the soundtrack of our lives, the classic hits like ABC, and I'll be there. If you were like me, Sugars, you had a crush on one of these brothers and knew you was gonna be Mrs. Jackson. Please welcome from the legendary Jackson 5, let's hear it for Marlon Jackson! <laughs> was going to be your sister-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> I had worked it out, okay, Marlon? Okay. You hear okay. me? Here? Yeah. Okay. I had come to the house and everything. I was one hiding in the bushes. I won't apologize. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, it's still not too late because I do have some brothers that aren't married. <laughs> <laughs> but I am. Oh, but see what I'm saying? Some and people, I think some right people now. Double dip. <laughs> 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 but I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Some people dip that double. Now listen. <laughs> In your family, they call Marlon the jokester. Why are you the jokester of the family? You know, they call me, you know, they call me the jokester, but at, when we were growing up, Michael and I were the youngest. And we played practical jokes on practically everybody. As, as young kids, that's what you do. That's what and, you do. And I guess I, I still carry it through some from time to time, but there's nothing wrong with laughter. There's no, nothing wrong with having fun. Yeah. Listen, laughter is the best medicine. And since they called you a jokester, uh -oh. okay, they called you the jokester, right. what would you call your siblings? If I throw their names out, describe them in three words or less. Uh-oh. You ready? Okay. I'm going to throw one out there right off the top. Latoya. Next. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you we would love that. I, I know you would we love, love that. You, that's Mama. why. I know you would love that. So that's why. That, that, that's why I did that. I, I, that's I, I did that. Amazing. Okay. Okay. I, I, I just did that just because I know you would like that. I love it, baby. I love it. I love the artist. He said next. Y'all know Latoya's ass. Next. Now y'all know. Uh, y'all know our sister. Okay. I'm ready. You ready for this one? You ready yeah. for this one? I'm gonna throw it at you. Okay. Here it comes. Tito. Uh, serious. You ready? Uh huh. Reby. Uh, motherly. Yeah. Motherly. Yeah. And my man over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Randy. Um, he's the party man. Yes, he is. Yes, he, he's the party. He, and he knows, he, he and Jermaine knows everything. Oh, they, they know it all. Yes, yeah, they know it all. Our sweet sister Janet. Uh, Janet, uh, I guess I can just say control. Oh. Oh. We ain't mad at that one, baby, because she's been controlling it for years. I got Randy, I got Tito, I got Jermaine, I got Latoya, I got Reby. Uh, Marlon sitting right here with me, Jackie. Uh, when he was coming up, he was a ladies' man when he was coming up. Is he still a ladies' man now that he's up? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way you feel yeah. ladies' man is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and he, he's serious, too. Uh, Very serious? Yes. Now, the one and the only, the greatest entertainer of our lifetime. Yes. yes. Michael. I, I would describe him as, um, you know, a blessing. Yes. <laughs> now, Marlon, what's the show? And I know you guys were in the midst of taping when yes. Michael went to glory. Yes. Did it change the direction of the show? No, it didn't change the direction of the show. Of course, you know, uh, having a camera shadow us, we definitely had to touch upon that. But we took, what was great about a and &E is that we started taping the show in January of 2009. When Michael had passed, they gave us as much time as we needed to mourn. 
And uh, we took time off, but we also know that we had a contractual obligation, so we wanted to, you know, hurry up and finish up the show so we continue our morning. And uh, we really thank the network for understanding, you know, what we were going through. Yes, indeed. Uh, but um, I still today can't believe that my brother is not here with us anymore. But you know, your brother is here, baby. Your brother's in spirit, always in my heart. Be here. He is. Yes, yes, indeed. Now, here's something that I think the world needs to know. Because in reading your notes and you know doing my research, mm -hmm. tell us about the project, brother, that you're doing over uh, in Africa. Um, you know, I, I went to Africa about uh, three years ago on some other things. And when I was there, we went to this place called the Point of No Return. And I've always felt in my heart that someone needs to preserve our history because I always tell people we're Africans before we became African Americans. Mm -hmm. And oh, there's, some, there's some history there that we really don't know about. Uh, our generation to generation, it will get lost if somebody really don't preserve that history. And what I found out is I found out that the Lord had already summoned me to be that one to do that. And uh, as I was traveling the point of no return, the Lord started sending me images of what to do with this. And the point of no return is, is actually the slave route in Nigeria, is in Badagri, that the slaves took uh, to, to board the slave ship to go across the world to America, to Haiti, to Portuguese, various places across the world. And uh, as I was walking that slave route, <clears throat> images came, and, and we're, what we're doing now actually is, is actually building a city because we're building museums uh, to preserve the history, uh, slave ships, and there will be a slave ship where people can take a ride so they can experience what our forefathers and foremothers went through. Wow. So they can understand what they went through so we can be what we are today. Uh, we're also building uh, hotels, condominiums, police department, hospitals. And we're going to employ about 100, over 100,000 jobs for the indigenous people there. So the bottom line is to create tourism for, the, for N Nigeria so people all over the world com can come and experience and understand what we had to go through as a people to get where we are today. Wow. Marlon Jackson, baby, listen, don't y'all go nowhere because when we return, we're going to be talking some more to our brother, the legendary Marlon Jackson of the Jackson oh. 5. Big Jim, give us some of that Jackson 5. What does extraordinary look like? Ruth J. Simmons. What so many people forget is that the path doesn't have to be easy. It doesn't have to be straight. You just keep going. The BET Honors, Monday at 9 p.m. Every dog wants to be a Caesar dog for so many delicious reasons. Caesar, tempting entrees in a variety of flavors, like prime rib. Caesar, love them back. You know what 2.30 in the afternoon feels like, right? Sleepy? Groggy? Dying for a nap? What do you do? Run for the coffee? Grab a soda? But how long does that last before you're back for more? Try this instead. Take one five-hour energy, then, see what the rest of your day feels like. Sure won't feel like 2.30 anymore. Or 3.30. Or 4.30. Five hour energy. Hours of energy now, no 2.30 feeling later. On February 2nd, <gasps> everyone's dying to see the movie that's funny as hell. Oh, you like that, don't you? Nice. Spicy. Own the Blu-ray on February 2nd, the best way to watch movies at home ever. I'm congested right now in this area, my nose and right around here. Want to give Afrin a try? Yeah. It cleared up right away. I can breathe. So where would you rate it? 99.9. .9. Afrin, why suffer? This is for arms. Arms that push, lift, and carry. Arms that open doors. Hold tight as they can. And know when to let go. This is for arms that are too important to hide. Curves works for your arms, your legs, and your heart. 
call today. Our 30-minute circuit works every major muscle group, from biceps and triceps to glutes and quads, with a trainer to teach and motivate. You can burn up to 500 calories every workout. This is for arms and everything they hold dear. Curves works. Join Curves now and get 30 days free. And find out how you can help improve the lives of one million women at Curves.com. Get ready at BoostMobile.com slash shuffle. Get ready at BoostMobile.com slash shuffle. How you doing? I'm good, Wendy. How you doing? I'm doing great because I'm on BET. Weeknights at midnight. Giving you additional internet speed is my idea of good customer service. As a Time Warner cable engineer, I know when you download videos and play games online, an extra burst of speed really helps. I use the internet. I get it. That's why we deliver Power Boost. Pa -pa. It gives an extra burst of speed as you're downloading from the internet. And Power Boost is free with Roadrunner. It's only available through Time Warner Cable's advanced fiber network. My name is Bob, and I am Time Warner Cable. To be a great dad is the most important job in a man's life. But it doesn't have to be hard. All it takes is a few minutes of your time, because the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. We always do everything together. What if one day I want to see drugs together? How will you turn me down? Just because I make a mistake, you don't have to make one too. A V test for you and your partner. We are partying up with the music legend Marlon Jackson of the Jackson. Yes. Now, there's a generation out there that does not know that the Jackson 5 had a cartoon baby. Yeah. Oh, uh, Do you yeah. hear what I'm saying? Yes. I was so into that Jackson 5 cartoon. Y'all was doing y'all little steps as some cartoon people. <laughs> I loved it. And I remember, this how much of a fan I was, the snake oh, okay. in the Jackson 5. Cartoon baby, the snake. And so we're gonna do a little trivia. Okay. Because you got some people say, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, but they don't know nothing okay. about the Jacksons. Right. So we wanna know, and this to the world too, what was the snake's name in the cartoon of the Jackson Five? Now, whoever get it right, you get a little something special from Marlon Jackson. You know he said, do your devil dip? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing, but I'm serious. Okay, so listen. You got to figure out and tell us, y'all out here, what was the snake's name on the cartoon, the Jackson Five? What's your name, though? Kyle Morgan. Kyle, and what was the snake's name? I know the monkey's name was Bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Snake. <laughs> this is it's why y'all must so take your birth pill. control pills. You got to do it. You got to do it. We are asking the question, what was the snake's name on the Jackson 5 cartoon? That's all we're trying to figure out. Now, she ain't gonna get up here and say, I don't know about the snake, what was but the I know name? about Ben. The snake's name was Rosie. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Now, I appreciate you knowing the correct information. But this is when you get a double prize. Do you remember the name of the two mice? Don't worry about it, because I don't need the help. Come on down here and get what Marlon got for you. Let her come on down here. How does that feel, knowing that your family made such an impact on the world? I, you know what? To be honest with you, I just realized that about maybe seven years ago, and I'm being honest with you, because my brothers and, and, and myself, we just enjoyed doing music. And I, I felt that we were blessed because I got a chance to travel the world and experience various cultures. I remember studying English history, which I really wasn't 
interested 